Okay, I want to take a, a quick moment to go over the shadow I put on the cargo hold. Now, if anyone took a basic art class in elementary school, you've definitely gone over this before, but it's a subtle effect that makes a huge difference in defining your floor. First, let's go ahead and assume there's no light in our room. You know, the cargo hold itself might be outlined, as ours is with a sharpie, but there's clearly no definition to the, the hold itself. So, now let's flip on the light. Again, the room is lit, but you have to really look at the frame surrounding the cargo hold before you see it defined in relation to the rest of the floor. Now, you know, I added wood grain and going in different directions to let your eyes perceive the hold as being separate from the rest of the floor, but with no shadows, your eyes don't actually believe what they're seeing. This is why adding the shadow is so crucial to the overall perception of your floor. Now, let's adjust the light and turn it into a sun instead, positioning it in the upper right hand corner of the room. Since my son's room faces south, it could easily represent an evening sun on a typical summer day. Now, you can see the shadows that define your shape of the cargo hold. The darkened areas below and to the left indicate the direction of the sun, and your eyes see the image is three-dimensional, even if it's really just on a flat plane. Now, keeping this in mind, simply tape around the shadowed areas and paint in a darker color to achieve your desired results. In my case, I went ahead and used a black to represent the hard shadow, but I could have easily used just a very dark brown uh, or something else to get the end result. Now, regardless of the implied direction you want to use for your floor, keeping the shadows consistent will go a long way in making your floor look 3D, even if it's painted on a flat sheet of plywood. Okay, we're going to do just a little more touch-up work on the cargo hold here. You can see I've got the shadow, and it gives it that three-dimensional effect. We've got the nail holes. Everything's kind of in place, but if you stand back and look at it, there's not a lot of definition on that outer board. Right over here. So you can see it when we're close up, but if you zoom out, it kind of blends in. It doesn't provide depth between the bottom boards and the actual cargo hold border. So what we're doing, we're just taking a simple foam brush here, using the foam part of it now, and we're just basically creating a small little line around the outside. And we're going to show you what we're quickly doing here. The foam brush really works out well for this because you can paint down a, a line pretty easy. And if it's a little heavier than what you want it to be, which I'll show you here in a second, you can go back over it and quickly even it out and make it look very good. And this is for a shadow, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So my, my brush is starting to run out of paint, so now I'm just going to slowly go back over what I just did, do a quick back and forth motion, and it evens everything out. You can see here where I started the brush, the paint was thicker, and so by going back over it, levels it out a little bit, and that'll dry to be thin, and it'll start to look like what we've done over here so far. So it's a subtle effect, but it gives that board just a little bit more uh, pop, makes it stand out from the rest of it, and it makes it look fantastic. So I'll show you the finished product here in just a moment.